In this video we're just going to have a quick look at three different setups for the Old Faithful, the, uh, the power slot. Okay, so setup number one, um, on there okay, setup number one, we'll go, go from here, from our normal defence position. Okay, now if he steps forward suddenly to close the distance, okay, so if Ollie comes forward quickly and you go to here, okay, the first slap we're going to do is basically from there, so it's very tight, very close in sort of slap, okay. Um, he's basically setting himself up, right. Normally, um, if you're going to do the slap, you would, you would do it from roughly this distance here, right. But um, if in the middle of the confrontation he suddenly rushes forward, right, when you're put in a position where you're going, oh, hold, hold on, mate, hold on, right, then we're going to strike from here, right. Now, I must emphasize you have about one second to react here, right. He's not coming forward for nothing. He's coming forward because he wants to hit you. Okay. So once he comes forward, throw your fence up, nice and tight, and then from there, immediately straight from here. Okay. Now your slap itself needs to be pretty practiced to straight from this position because you're not getting much movement. Right. You're getting firstly no arm movement. Everything has to be done with the hips. Okay. The advantage you have here is, as I say. He's setting himself up, right? Your hands are up nice and high, well above his hands, okay? So there's basically nothing he can do to uh, stop your strike, right? Doesn't matter how quick he is, if my hands are here, doesn't matter what he does, he's not going to stop it when he's going down, okay? So that's the first setup. Um, the second setup, um, this is more for um, noisy environments such as uh, nightclubs. Um, I made good use of this when I was bouncing um, over the years. Basically, very, very simple. All you want to do is go from here, you want to step in and you want to go, mate, what was that, sorry, mate? And then from here, bang, you're going to slap with your opposite hand, your left hand. Okay? So, similar to the first one, and it was very little distance um, to maneuver, right? Only this time, you're closing the distance down yourself, right? You're using a bit of deception, um, you're making it seem as if you can't hear what he's saying, when really what you're doing is leaning in and setting yourself up for the slap, okay? The advantage to that one is obviously he's not going to see it coming because it's out of his line of sight, right? And by the time he wakes up and realizes what's going on, it's going to be too late. Okay. So the third setup, um, more of a general setup. Uh, again, if we're in the middle of a confrontation, that's over here, and I want to set the slap up from here. Basically, what we need to do is we need to step back, right? But if I just step back into that position and he's switched on enough, then he's going to know exactly what I'm about to do. Okay. So what we're going to do is disguise it with dialogue. Right? So we're going to go from here, and basically what we're going to do is, hey, can I just talk about this? <coughs> and then strike from there. Okay. So you're basically using the dialogue to disguise the fact that you're stepping back into your vents position, and then you're going to strike from there. Okay. 